Hey, welcome to the channel. Let's get started. First, you want your fish cleaned and gutted. Then you want to score it because we want it to cook evenly. This was a nice Moana Kali I was blessed with. Probably three to four pounds. So the steaming time will be a little bit longer than normal. So you want to season both sides with garlic salt and black pepper or your choice of seasonings. Make sure to not forget about the stomach area too you want to season. Next you're going to want to transfer your fish onto a roasting pan, onto a bed of greens including Shanghai, baby bok choy, chopped ginger, green onions, and I chose red cabbage because I like the way it soaks up the sauce. And you want to cover it with saran wrap. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's just a lining before you put the aluminum foil cover. And this is going to help trap the moisture and steam it properly. Preheat the oven for 375. Because this is a good sized fish, we're going to need to bake it in the oven and let it steam for at least 30 minutes now we can start making the sauce I have two cups of low sodium soy sauce along with a generous four tablespoons of light golden brown sugar you can use white sugar too So the brown sugar has a little bit more depth to it, kind of a teriyaki. Next ingredient I'm adding is chili flakes. You don't have to, but I like a little zing in the sauce. Whisk it up. Mix all the sugars so it doesn't settle to the bottom of the bowl. Stir it a few times. From here, you can add just a splash of sherry, cooking wine, or sesame oil if you prefer. Next thing you want to do is grab a separate saucepan and add about a cup of peanut oil or your neutral oil of choice. You can use grapeseed oil. You want to put it on medium high heat, probably for about 15 minutes or until it starts to smoke. Once your fish is done and you take it out of the oven, you want to unveil and check to see the progress and make sure it's cooked evenly throughout. Now you want to add your sauce and pour it generously over the fish Another way to cook it is also to add the sauce and then steam the fish. Either way it comes out great. I made a little extra sauce so I can pour it over the vegetables. So while the peanut oil is getting to temp, I like to Pile all the veggies on top of the fish for the final crisping. Now that the peanut oil is off the heat, I'm about to pour it over. 
I like to do it slowly and deliberately so I can control how much oil is going into the sauce. This is my favorite part. Not much to it. Very simple steamed fish recipe. It's a good way to use leftover vegetables in your refrigerator. Add cilantro comes out great if you have cilantro and enjoy thanks for tuning in guys I really enjoy the support and the love mahalo